Okay, let's, let's talk a minute, Jesse, about hitting off a tee. Uh, we want to hit off of a tee now that you're your age different than you hit off a tee when you were six or eight years old. Okay, six or eight year olds always look right here. But in the game, you never look right there. In a game, when you come up and take your stance, you're going to look at the pitcher. So when we do this drill, let's change your eyes because we're working on the visual part of hitting. Let's change your eyes where now you look out at the pitcher. And then as you take your stride and start the swing, then you look down and find the ball. Let's make a change there. This is something that's really important when you're hitting off a tee is to make it game light. We're working on the visual skills of hitting, so we want the eyes in the same position they're going to be when you hit. You can go ahead. Everything's fine. But now do you see the difference is he looks out toward where the pitcher would be while she hits off of a tee. So now she's got visual skills working at the same time she's hitting out there. Now, we can even change that a little bit to make it even more realistic by going to the fence where she's hitting and put something. Uh, today I'm going to put a cup here. We could wrap a piece of tape somewhere around the fence, but I'm just going to put a cup for today. Now, the only disadvantage of the cup is where we put it. We've got to put it, the only disadvantage, that's one of them, we got to put it about thigh high to give her something realistic now to focus on like a ball traveling toward her. The, the problem a little bit with the cup is it may not stay secure. If she hits the ball hard enough in this area, the cup can get knocked out and we've got to keep putting it in there. So sometimes we just tape something in that area. So now when Jesse's hitting, instead of just looking out this way, we want to make sure we don't just look. We've talked about that. Our goal is to see and collect information. We can even put dots on this cup if we wanted to. But we want you to see that cup, not just look at it. Okay? Now watch her, and she's got something to focus on when she looks out that direction. Do a couple like that. So you get an idea of, I've got something that I'm looking at. Okay, now, notice something about Jesse. if you were watching this. One of the problems that she had was she takes her eye off the ball a little bit too early. We're going to exaggerate it. In a game, it would not look quite as way it did just then. We're going to, she is pulling when she gets through hitting. She looks back out there a little bit too quickly. A lot of hitters do that when they're hitting off tees. They will hit the ball, and then they will look out toward the pitcher sooner than they really should have. They don't see this ball as well as they should have. They don't even last, see the last six to eight feet as well as they should have. Almost no hitter can see the ball hit the bat. We think none can see the ball hit the bat if there's any speed to it on a pitch ball of any velocity at all. But you want to try to track the ball as long as you can. To do that, you've got to keep your head down. So now we're going to put another ball, and we don't have to use a ball. We could use anything else. I'm going to put a ball right here in front of the plate. And I'm going to ask Jesse that when she hits, she wants to try to see the ball she hits, but after she hits, she wants to ask herself, can I see the ball on the ground? Now, it wouldn't have to be the ball. I could put a little porcupine ball. I actually could pick these weeds up out of the ground and put them right there if I wanted to. I can put a penny, a nickel, a skittle, whatever I want to put down there makes no difference. But the, her goal now is to hit the ball here after she's seen the imaginary ball in the fence, which is a cup right now, and then when she gets through, make sure she keeps her head down. And we would do this with this ball, we would do that every time we hit off the tee, we would put something there. It's just something for her to check and see if she's keeping her head down. So hit a few now with the ball on the tee. You're looking at the cup. When you get through, you ought to see the ball on the ground. Good. You notice it gave her something that she can now say, I kept my head down because I saw the ball on the ground. So she's seeing a ball coming, which is the cup in the fence. She's seeing the ball she hits, and she sees the ball on the ground, which makes her keep her head down. Also helps the physical part of her hitting, but particularly true with the visual as people pull their head off the ball. Go ahead. And this helps her keep from pulling her head off the ball. We're now going to change it just a little bit, and watch we're going to have a pitcher on the other side of the fence and have an actual person that she's looking at, and eventually it will lead to a ball. We've looked at a one-ball tee drill and a two-ball tee drill. We started with Jesse hitting a ball just off of the tee, changed some eye position and that type of thing. Then we added a ball on the ground in front of the tee as our second ball to help Jesse concentrate on keeping her head down after the swing. We're now headed toward a three-ball drill. We're going to put a pitcher, just another partner, another player, on the other side of the fence. And if they can't do the pitching motion, they can just bring the hand back and go forward with it. But I'm going to do something like a pitching motion. Jesse's going to, after the 
hit, tell me whether she saw an open hand or a fist. We could change what I'm showing. It could be the back of the hand, the front of the hand. Again, we got a lot of variations, number of fingers that she sees. But I'm going to do open hand or closed hand. And after she hits, she's going to tell me what she saw to start with. And hopefully she's going to also tell me that when she finished, she saw the yellow ball on the ground and kept her head down. Here we go. Okay. All right. Did you see your ball on the ground when you were through? Jesse saw both of them. She saw the hand right out here. She saw the ball she hit, and she saw the ball on the ground. So she had good visual positioning on all parts of the swing. Let's do that again. She saw the fist. She saw the yellow ball when it was through. Now we're going to change it, and I'm actually going to use a ball. If you've got enough pitchers to help in these drills, great. I really think it ought to be a rule when people first start playing fast pitch softball, they have to learn the pitching motion so you can do drills like that, but I doubt I'll get that passed. Here we go. She's going to actually track this ball all the way to the fence and hit the ball that's on the tee. Good job. Good job. Now we're working on tracking skills as well as keeping our head down so we're seeing three different balls at this time. That shows how good a pitcher I am sometimes. I throw them everywhere. But the drill's still good. She's trying to spot the release point. She's watching, working on a soft focus to a fine focus. The timing, everything's in this, yet we're hitting off a tee. Keep watching Jesse as she watches three balls. Good job. She's seeing the ball released. She's seeing the ball hit off the tee. And she's seeing the ball on the ground afterwards. Now, remember actually in the game, she's not going to see that bat ball contact, but it's forcing her to keep her head down. She's working on tracking a ball, soft focus to fine focus, all the parts of the visual part. Jesse doing a good job. Great job, Jesse. One of the things we mentioned a while ago is that instead of putting a ball on the ground to help the hitter keep her head down, we can do some other things. It could be skittles or toss different things down there, a rock, whatever it might be. I actually got the drill from Don Mattingly. He used to put a rock in front of home plate at Yankee Stadium to help him remind, remember to keep his head down. What we're going to do right now with Erin as she hits is instead of using the ball, I'm going to kneel off to the side in a safe location and flash some fingers as she's swinging the bat. Her job is to see herself hit the ball but then keep her head down long enough to see how many fingers I flash. Okay, here we go, Aaron. Two. Good job. There were two of them. You get the ball out of there each time. We don't want to place the ball on the T4 hitter because they may swing at the wrong time with our hand up there. One. Nice job. You notice she's keeping her head facing outward like there's a pitcher on the mound, not staring down at the ball on the T and keeping her head down. One more. Erin does a good job with this drill. Yes. 